namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa good today uh, the book does last days part 25 uh, today is also the last day for this serious topic uh, today today is the last day for mahaprinibbana sutta last talk we also explains about the the last part of Mahaprinibbana Sutta, but because of the poor con uh, internet connections, the listeners cannot hear clearly. That is why now we will explain the Buddha's last day's uh, conclusions today. Briefly, then, you know, when the Buddha has attained his final Prinibbana. Then already seven days, Venerable Magasapa and his disciples, 500 bhikkhus are still coming to the Kusinara to pay homage to the Buddha. During these times, you know, the seven days of the Buddha's Mahaprinibbana, then, then they also knew the Buddha already passed away seven days ago. Or uh, they got the news from Ajiwaka, one, one Ajiwaka, the monk from the other religions. The Buddha has passed away. The Buddha has already attained his final Prinibbana since seven, seven days ago. As soon as they heard the news from this Ajivaka monk from other religions, the many Putojanas Beku, Sotabana Sagadagami Beku from Venerable Kasapa's disciples, uh, crying out a lot. The Buddha passed away very quickly, very, very quickly. Then the bright, brightness of the Dhamma disappears very, very quickly. But the Anagami and Arhanda Veku from this audience, then they also have the Mahasan with a great sense of urgency. Sabi, the Sabi, Sankara, and Nija, all formations are Nija. After arising, they will perish. Nobody can prevent the perishes not to perish. Nobody, uh, according to their wishes, it cannot last, it cannot exist. But one of the, you know, Wota Babajita, one old Beku who ordained in his old age, we call Wodha Babajita. Subhada. His name is a Subhada. Oh, Subhada. Then the, the, uh, the last, the noble disaster or the Wodha is also Subhada. But this one also Subhada. Is it? Oh. Subhada Nama Wodha Babajita. This is also Subhada. Maybe Subhada is a very good name during the Buddha times. <laughs> there are many Subhada. Then Subhada, Oda Babajita, says to the bhikkhus who are crying loudly, then how he said, Allah awuso ma so chaita ma priti waita. Oh, awuso, oh bhikkhus. Uh, although maybe he is a jun junior among this audience, but he still called awuso. Huh? He does not know what the Buddha order in last day. Uh, if 
junior bhikkhu want to address to the senior bhikkhu need to use bandi or ayasam. Is it? But the senior bhikkhu want to court the junior bhikkhu, then they should, they should use they should use Awuso or their name or their hometown country, etc. But now he is still called Awuso or, or, or Bhikkhu together, okay? He don't use Pandey. He does not use Pandey. The Awuso Maso Jaita Mat Pretty Waita, don't worry. Oh, Awuso, don't worry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Sumu damiantina masamanina. We have escaped from the Mahasamana Godama. Ubadu daja homa idawoka badi idawo nakabadi. When he was alive, he tortured us a lot. Idawoka badi, this is suitable for you. This is not suitable for you to do. Idanipana maya. Now, whatever we wish to do, we will do. If we don't want to do, okay, we don't need to do. According to our desire, that we will stay. Oh, we will stay. Oh, uh, this is a his word. Subhadra Uddha Babaji does encouragement to the other bhikkhu. When the Buddha was alive, he controlled the bhikkhus a lot. He controlled us a lot. This is not suitable for you to do. This is suitable for you to do. You should not do this. You should do this, etc. But now, since he passed away, then we will do whatever we want to do. We will not do whatever we don't want to do. Oh, what he says, very dangerous words. Then he, you know, the Buddha just attained final, his final Prinibana, the Buddha just passed away. Although his teachings is still existing in the world, but he immediately destroyed the Buddha's Vinyaru or teaching, etc. Oh, that is a very dangerous, uh, such kinds of person is very dangerous in the Sasana. When Venerable Kasapa hurt, what he says to the 500 bhikkhus, what, what the Sudha, Subhadra Prabhajita says to the Venerable Kasapa's disciple, then what happened? He feels the sense of urgency. Actually, he immediately uh, want to, uh, you know, want him to disrupt. Okay, you trying to disrupt and he want to disperse. Oh, uh, high important issues on his head. Go away. You should not, you are not worthy of uh, Buddha's dispensation. Eh? You should not stay in the Buddha's dispensation in this way. But he controlled his mind. He controlled his mind. Me, why? Oh, then the Buddha just attained his final Prinibana seven days ago. But the Buddha's disciples are quarreling each other, disputing each other. They are not harmonious each other. They many, uh, the many non-religions, well, non-Buddhists will criticize us. Then it is not suitable for us. That is when the uh, Venerable Kasapa didn't say anything to him. Only just the uh, Venerable Kasapa encouraged his disciples to So you know, the Sabe he pee, manapi, nanabao, winabao, and yantabao. Oh, pee, manapi, he, we, it is the, it is the, it is natural to separate from the beloved persons. Is it separation from the love and uh, the, the separations from the love? The love is a natural. Tangutata lava. Yandanja dan Buddha Sankatan Paloka Dhamma. All formations were banished. All, were, all formations were perished after arising. Even the Buddha's body, although we wish the Buddha's body to last for a long time, but we cannot, uh, we cannot, 
wish to last for a long time, even the Buddha's body will vanish, will perish. Oh, Venerable Magasapa encouraged to his disciple. Then he also saw the dangers for the Buddha's disposition since these times, okay? Then after just the Buddha attained his final Prinipana, but there are also such kinds of very big bhikkhu in the Buddha's disposition. Then the Buddha also uh, preached the Dhammas, many Dhammas in every place. Those Dhamma, Dhamma are like the flower without, uh, without garland, flower garlands with the strips, is it? That is why maybe the Venerable Kasapa has intentions to, uh, to collect the Buddha's teachings like the flower garland. Flower garlands. That is why, you know, after the Buddha's final Prinibana, then Venerable Kasapas will lead the first Sangha's causes in Rajaga country. Rajaga country with the support of Ajata Satukin. Uh, there, uh, there will be there will be the first Sangha's causes. Then Venerable Ananda will be the Venerable Kasapa will be the questioners for all Buddha's Dhamma and Winya. Then Venerable Ananda will be the answerers for the Buddha's and Sotas and Bhidama. Then Venerable Ubali will be the answerers of Vinaya Pitaka. So in this way, uh, there were many 500 Arahantas were gathered together and they will recite the Buddha's teaching. After that, they were confirmed, oh, these are Vinaya, uh, or they could need to follow this Vinaya rule. These are certain that taught by the Buddha, or uh, this is a Dika Nikaya, uh, long discourse of the Buddha, etc. Is it? Uh, this is uh, the Majima Nikaya, media discourse of the Buddha. Uh, in this way, they were uh, collect all the Buddha's teachings as a group. Then, this is Abhidhamma Pitaka, etc. Then, the uh, Penerva Kasapa also. Appoint this, uh, appoint this, those bhikkhus to uh, maintain their respective pitaka, etc. Then in this way, the Buddha's teachings will last for a long time without disappearing. Oh, otherwise, you know, there are many uh, such kinds of super, uh, such kinds of bhikkhu, bad bhikkhu, bad bhikkhu who were destroying the Buddha's teaching uh, quickly. Oh, because of this, okay, Venerable Kasapa has intentions to do the first Sangha's cause as far as possible. Then Subhadra Bhikkhu is, you know, Wodha Pabajita. Uh, here, Wodha Pabajita in the sacrament. Gone forth and O aged, they translate. The Buddha also taught uh, two sota regarding Wodha Pabajita. Bhikkhus who are they in their old age. So what are they? Okay, so a little bit. Uh, what are they? Then they want to do. Pijime. Pinjai Bhikkhuwe. Dhamme hi. Pinjai Bhikkhuwe. Dhamme samanagato. Dunglabo. Udapa Vajito. Oh. They know. Uh, because it is rare to find one gun force in OH, they mean one who ordained in their OH, who possesses five qualities. What five? Uh, what five? You know, don't love all bakery, what up, baby, don't nipu no nipu na a little bit. Nipu na number one, don't love all nipu no one who ordained in their OH, uh, who, who is equipped with it. <laughs> Who is a gender? Okay. Who is a gender and delicate? Uh, subtle in their appearance, uh, their mm, manner, like this. Akapa uh, Sampano, who has their proper manner? Then very difficult to find. The big who's who are they in their, uh, uh, it is very difficult to find with the proper manner. Uh, uh, Nipuno, very subtle and very gentle. Gentle, very gentle, very subtle. 
I don't, I don't refer to anybody. No, <laughs> this is the Buddha's word, is it? Um, then I, I am living with them here. Uh, most of them, okay, this is the time for meditation. Go to Sima House to meditate. No, I buried Sima House is very far. I want to stay in Mangudi. Then a few times, okay, if they don't want to listen, I, I don't encourage them. Then they stay here for one year, two years without uh, regular practice and without lessons to the teachers' instruction. Then they only just pass a few years, they had no attainments. Why? Very difficult. Is it? Oh. But why? In their, their family or their business, they are leader. That is why when they ordain in their old age, although they have intentions to attain jhana, mega, fula, nibbana, but they don't want to uh, practice or according to their previous nature. Uh, why? Then, very difficult to find the Sate Mena. Don't love Agaba Sambano. You see their appearance, they wear the robe improperly and equally, etc. Then, also uh, very difficult to find the Beku with their proper Mena if they ordain in their old age. Don't love Bohusudor, number three. Who is a land, very land? Who is knowledgeable? Sure, very difficult to find. But there are also some Beku who has, who has knowledge, who are knowledgeable, uh, for, but very rare, very rare, okay? Most of them, they have no knowledge in Winia, they have no knowledge in Dharma. Then although the teacher instruct, instruct them to do good things, but they don't want to do. They, I know, uh, I lead the business in my family, or something like this, is it? Then number four, don't love all Dharma God. Uh, it is very difficult to find who can preach the Dharma properly. Then number five, don't love all at all. Then very, it is also very rare to very rare to find the ones who is an expert in the Winaya. Uh, uh, they also don't know Winaya. Then. The Samanera ordained since young, so they also study Winaya. When they stay together with the teachers who respect the Winaya, then they also know and they follow the Winaya rule. But when they ordain in their old age, they have no time to learn Winaya. That is why they also don't know uh, what is benefit, what is uh, allowable or what is not allowable, etc. What is suitable for them or what is not suitable. Then the Buddha taught uh, five, uh, five, five things. Okay, another one, another one. Another Dutiya uh, Pavajita Soda. Then not only one Soda, another Soda. Okay, number one. Don't love Bobby, we won't have Pavajita, Suva Chor, Suva Chor. It is very, very difficult to correct Suva Chor. Suwacho, Suwacho, Suwacho me, very difficult to find the one who are obedient. Okay, who are obedient, who are difficult, uh, who are easy to correct. If they are doing something wrong, it is not suitable for you, Bhikkhu should do in this way. Like, you know, just now Subhadra Prabhajita, although the Buddha taught in this way, but he is like this. He says, oh, he says in this way. Then very difficult to correct. Then number three. Don't uh don't love sugate gahi. Don't love sugate gahi. Who family retrain in mind what he has learned? Okay, he have he holds a kind of view since maybe later since time. Okay. When he ordained in their old age, this is not suitable for you to do or to, to hold such kinds of wrong view. But they don't want to do language. They hold family and soundly. Is it? Then, don't love what brother Ginne Gahi, who accept an instruction, who accept instruction respectfully, very difficult to find the one who accepts instructions respectfully. Okay, it is also very difficult to find, but there are also some very good people who, who accept the instruction from the teacher. The number four, 
Don't let go Dhamma Gati go. Very difficult to find the one who can freeze the Dhamma properly. Number five, don't let go. We need the road. Very difficult to find who is, uh, who follow the winner or who is an expert in the winner. Okay. Yeah. Then the Buddha taught to Buddha Bhavajita Sutta regarding the bhikkhus who ordain in their old age. Okay, you can uh, remove this acronym, no problem. Then you know the Subhadra Bhikkhu, Subhadra Bhikkhu, he ordained in his old age. That is why he is also one of this one. When he says, when he says this very big word to the uh, Bhikkhus, when, he, when they had the news of the Buddha's final Prinipana, then one day, you know, the Buddha, uh, he, was, uh, he was living in Atuma city near Bandi Kusinara also. That time, he also had two sons, young sons. Uh, they have very good voice and they can preach, uh, they can speak very uh, gentle speech, etc. He was a Baba, you know, a Baba me who prepared the other's hairs. Then this is his business when he was a lay person. He also taught the Baba was to his two sons. Uh, they can also do the Baba job well. But one day they ordained as a bhikkhu in the Buddha's dispensation, then two of his young sons also ordained as a samanera. When they are living in Aduma city, then the Buddha came to Aduma city from this Kusinara. Together were 1,250 uh, 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 bhikkhus. When he had the news, then he encouraged his two, two sons to find the salt, rice, oil, etc. to cut the yagu rice porridge to offer to the Buddha. How, he, how they find? They have their Baba Tum, Baba Tum me, the office of Baba, to shake or to prepare the hairs of the lay persons. Then you go and do your job, your work, you walk from house to house in the city. Then if they ask, what do you want to, what do you want? Then you answer, okay, we want the salt, wine, eh, rice, etc. to cook the uh, rice yagu to offer us to the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha. Then he encouraged his two sons, Amanira. Because of his encouragement, then they also, uh, two sons, two young Samanira also uh, went to the village or uh, went to the Aduma cities to find the rice, wine, etc. By working their Baba job. Okay, I, I, we are very skillful in making the uh, repairing, repairing the hair or shaping the hair. Who want to shake? Oh. Uh, although they don't want to shape their hair, they want they don't want to uh, repair, they, they don't want to repair their hair, but because of their pleasant sound, pleasant voice, then many people come out and they also do. Then after that, what do you want to what what do you want to get? Because of, uh, with this job, then they also answer the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha where it comes to this city, they at that time wish to offer uh, Yagus to the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha. That is why we will take salt, one and rice. Then they also offer many rice, wine, etc. Then in this way, they collect a lot of rice and wine in the whole country. Then finally, the Buddha is coming to the Atuma city from Kusinara, the time, a long time ago, okay? Then they also, the, you know, the Subhadra, Uta Babajita also cook the rice yaku with his two sons. Also, then he also asked many people to have and to cook. Then they also have cooking. He also cook himself by wearing, uh, you know, the black robe. Blue, blue rope, <laughs> blue rope. Then he got hands up, taking the uh, spoon, 
a spoon made of the wood, etc. Then when he was cooking the Buddha, uh, the Buddha also stayed in the Pusagara, you know, a kind of small hut with, uh, made of, made of uh, the uh, glasses, glasses from the body. Then next day, the Buddha and I to Aduma City together with 500 vehicles for ants food. That time, someone informed the Subhata Buddha Pavajita Beku, the Buddha is entering into the cities for ants food. Then if you wish to offer, you should go and offer and invite the Buddha. Then he went to the Buddha by wearing the black color robe and also taking the spoon made of the wood. After that, he invited Bande. I have uh, prepared the sweet, uh, sweet porridge, rice yagu, for Buddha and Beku Sangha. Please accept our offering. Oh, at that time, what happened? The Buddha knew this condition, but the Buddha asked, How did you, how did you get such kinds of rice? Ryagu, etc. Then he also explained evidence to the Buddha, he, how he collect the rice, etc. Then the Buddha blamed him. The Buddha criticized him. Why you do in this way? It is not proper for bhikkhus to do. Bhikkhus should not encourage other people to offer. This, if they do so, you know what will, what will, what will be? Will be Togata Abadi. Then also, without invitation, they should not ask the people uh, to help or to, to offer something. Then if they encourage the people to do so, there will be Dogata Abati. Another thing is a uh, bhikkhu who have been above us before. They cannot, they cannot carry the office of the Baba or the tool for Baba, Shaibin, etc. Then what will happen? If they carry the, the tools for Baba, like the sharp knife, sharp knife, etc., to shape the, uh, the other person's hair, then there will be also Dogata Abadi. So the Buddha laid down two winner rules regarding uh, Subhata Uda Babajita. Oh, this is in Mahawaka Maha Winner Pitaka. Okay. Okay, now. You understand? Then because of the Buddha also scolded him, then the Buddha also didn't accept his offering. Then what happened? Then he was unhappy. He is not happy with this condition. He says he is a sub that He know everything. If he know everything, if he know everything, why he didn't inform me Ali, uh, you should not arrange such kind of thing. You should not offer such kinds of things. We will not accept your offering, etc. But now we have already cooked everything. Cooked food also cannot keep for a long time. At least, uh, it um, uh, uh, means if we can keep the cooked food only just for seven days will last. Other, uh, after they were decomposed. Is it? Oh, because, of, uh, because of this reason, then he got angry with the Buddha. Then he had hatred toward the Buddha. But he dare not to say to the, anything to the Buddha. What he thought, if I say something to the Buddha, then he will frighten me. Why? He ordained from Raya family, the king's family. That is why, with his power, then he will make sense sufferings to me. Although he get angry with the Buddha, but he didn't, he didn't say anything to the Buddha during this time. Mm. Okay, but now the, he had the news, the Buddha already took his final Prinibana, the Buddha had to pass away. Then as soon as he had the news, then he, you know, he said this was very bad was to the other Beku happily. Okay, this is the reason why he says, okay, uh, we are, we, we have escaped from the Buddha's hand. We can do whatever we want to do. We will not do whatever we don't want to do. Oh. Uh, he tortured us a lot. He controlled us a lot when he was alive. Oh, what he said is like this. Okay, then you understand the Subhata Buddha Pavajita's uh, disciple 
uh, Oda Pabajita story. Then finally, Venerable Magazaba and 500 Bekus reached the Kusinara. Then during this time, actually, the, you know, the, they also trying to cremate the Buddha's body. They also trying to burn the Buddha's body. You know, the four uh, chicken of the Kusinara trying to burn the Buddha's body with the, uh, you know, wood, sandalwood fire. But when they try to make the fire, it does not appear. Oh, they cannot burn the Buddha's body with the fire. Then they also, uh, they, they also try, for example, eight people together, 16 people together. Although uh, they're trying to burn the Buddha's body with the fire with many people, but they couldn't burn. Then they also ask Venerable Anuruddha the reason. Then Venerable Anuruddha answer, the Dewa disagree with you. They are waiting for Venerable Mahakasapa. Then Venerable Mahakasapa reached to the Buddha's, uh, you know, the, the, the Buddha's, uh, the, uh, the, the place where the Buddha's took his final Prinibana. Then as soon as Venerable Kasapa and 500 Beku reached there, then Venerable Mahakasapa, you know, at that time, they already wrapped uh, the Buddha's body with the many uh, 500 new clothes. That is why no, uh, nobody can, can see the Buddha's body. But Venerable Mahakasapa did the uh, data and determinations. Uh, then, because of Venerable Kasapa's determination, the Buddha's two uh, feet come out from the clothes. Then, Venerable Kasapa also uh, pay homage to the Buddha's feet, pay homage to the Buddha's feet by touching with his head. Okay? Then, he also do forgiveness toward the Buddha. Then, the other 500 people also pay homage to the Buddha's feet by touching with their head. Then they go around the Buddha's body by right side for three times. Or after finishing paying homage to the Buddha's body, then the Buddha's body was burned by the fire automatically without anybody burning. Why? They burn the Dewa. They, uh, they burn the Buddha's body with the Dewa. Dewa's fire, etc. Then what will happen? Then the Buddha's relics remained. So during this time also, no smoke appear. Then after burning the Buddha's body also, no charcoal, no, uh, uh, you know, the Buddha, from the Buddha's body, no ashes, no ashes remained, etc. Only the Buddha's relics remained. Okay. You know? Only the Buddha's relics remain. No, uh, no ashes or dust remain from the Buddha's body. Yeah. Then what will happen? Then after they uh, collecting the Buddha's relics, uh, they also put in somewhere with their many many cuts. Then they also puja. They also honor the Buddha's relics body for seven days. During this day, you know, Ajatasattu king, the king of the Rajaga country, he also had the new, the Buddha took his final Prinibana, then he also sent the messengers to the Kusinaras. Oh, uh, then I also want the, or the Buddha's relics to share, uh, to receive the Buddha's relics. I also want the, to receive the Buddha's uh, relics. So please share the Buddha's relics to me. Then he also he also sends his uh, his message to the uh, his message together with messengers to the Kusinara Manlakin. In the same way, uh, but what what the what the other says? I will not share the Buddha to his final Prinibana in our country, not in your country. <laughs> Malagan, Malagan replies to the Ajatasattu king. In the same way, 
you know, Wesalika Lisa we can from Wesali country, they also sent messengers to the Mala country, Mala uh, the Kusinaras to share the Buddha's relics. Saying the same way, we are also the kin. The Buddha is also the kin. Raya from Raya family, we should receive, we should receive the Buddha's relics, etc. But they also reply the same way. Then in the same way, Kapila would to, you know, such a uh such a king, Sakia came from the Kapila Watu country. Uh, this is our relatives, our Buddha. Then we should also receive the Buddha's relics. Then you should share the Buddha's relics to our country. Or he also sends his mes their message to the Malake. They also reply the same way, they will not share. Then another number four. Uh, Bulaya came from Alakapa country, also the same. Koliya came from Rama village, also the same way. They also sense. Number six, Wata Dipa, Wata Dipa, Wata Dipa Brahmana from Wata Dipa country, also sends the same message to the Malakin. Number seven, you know, Manla came from Pawea country, very close to the uh, Kusinara. They also sent messengers to the Kusinara. You should share the Buddha's relics to us. We are also worthy to receive the Buddha's relics. But, you know, Manla came from Kusinara. They replied to all, we will not share the Buddha's relics to you. Then the Buddha took his final prinibana in our country, we are worthy of the Buddha's relics. Then at that time, what will happen? Ajata Sadhu Ken, Lechewi Ken, and Sakya Ken, etc. All seven countries, they also prepared the armies to, to fight with the Manla Ken. They all are around the Manla country, uh, Kusinara, with their army. Then if you don't share the Buddha's relics to us, then we will destroy your country. We will fight with, the, with you, etc. Then many, many army are there. Is it? Then what will happen? If they fight each other for the Buddha's relics, what will happen? Who will win? Okay, commentary says the, you know, Mala came from Kusinara will win. Although their country is a very small country, army is a very small army. Why? Uh, the Dewa are from their site. Dewa are also gathering around the Buddha's relics around this area. Uh, they are from the, their site. That is why if they fight each other, then although their army is a very small army, uh, then they will have them. Then they will win in this fighting, in this war. But, you know, because of this uh, conditions, you know, Donna. Brahmana, Dona Brahmana is like a professor in the university. Most of them came from different country. Since they are, uh, they study in the university. They study the art from the Do, uh, uh, Dona Brahmana. Uh, Dona Brahmana, he was a professor. Is it? Most of them are Dona Brahmana's disciple. Then Dona Brahmana. Uh, go, uh, he, he saw these conditions and he says, Sunandu Bondo Mama, Eka Vajanan, oh, please don't fight each other. Please listen to my only one admonishment. Amagan Bodo, who can do what? Our Buddha has, uh, you know, the ideas of the tolerance, idea of the forbearance, candy, patience. The Buddha says to be patient each other, not to fight each other, not to quarrel each other, not to dispute each other. Is it? Although uh, sentence to get angry, okay, be patient not to get each other, not to fight each other. Or the Buddha encourage uh, the sorry, Dona Brahmana professor or uh, admonish to them. Or they also, oh, our our teacher, our professor is uh, uh, given the advice to us. Then now you should share the Buddha's relics to each other. Uh, if you share each other, then what will happen? Then it will be beneficial for all people from different countries.
Uh, because of this reason, then they also listen to donors and management. Is it all that? Then they also ask donor professors to donor premises to share the voters' relates to each country. Then uh, 16 container remain very big, very big container. Okay, uh, measure measure of the capacity. Uh, a set, a set. How to call in English? Is it? Then what will happen? Eh? Then the then the voters realize everybody want to take the voters realize to make the stupa or chitia in their country, their country. Okay, they will they will make the chitia or stupa in their country. They will put the voters realize. Then what will happen? Then by if they have the uh, if they believe in the voters the Buddha or the Buddha's relics. Then they also respect the Chitya, relics Chitya. Then they pay homage to the uh, relics Chitya. They will also uh, offer flowers, the lights to the relics Chitya with the uh, devoted mind, devotionless mind, etc. Then what will happen? Then they will obtain a lot of benefit even in this present life. After passing away, they can be reborn in eh? Good realms such as human realm or diva realm, etc. Uh, because of this benefit, they want to make their relics pagoda in their own country. Is it? Then Donna, according to their encouragement, Donna Brahmana uh, will share the Buddha's relics one with their one container. Uh, container. Uh, container. Then, uh, or maybe relics pot. Is it? Then he put the re Buddha's relics. Uh, then share uh, two containers to each country, each country. Altogether, eight countries, including the Manla Kusinara countries. Then, yeah. altogether, 16 containers of the Buddha's relics. So, regarding the Buddha's relics, uh, here, then, okay, then I will explain after sharing in this way, when they are sharing, maybe they are also. Uh, having conversation each other, they don't, uh, maybe they forget to pay attention to the Dona Pramana. What will happen? Then Dona Pramana also taught the Buddha's uh, two relics, two relics meet the light fans. The Buddha's, uh, you know, the right side up above fans. Then he taught the Buddha's relics and he put in his uh, two bars. Eh? What, what is this one? Sorry. Uh, two bands, no? Uh, two, two bands that close uh, with a uh, surrounding in his, on his head. Then he put the Buddha's, uh, uh, the Buddha's fan. Uh, this one says, the eye tooth or the Buddha. They call the eye tooth or the Buddha. One, one two uh, Buddha's relics. He put in his two bands. Then he he share all released. After sharing, what will happen? What will happen to me during these times? You know, although no people knew, he took the Buddha's relics and hide the Buddha's uh, I, the the Buddha's iron tooth relics uh, and has the clothes on the head. Nobody know. But Saka know. Oh, Saka know where the Buddha's, uh, the, the Aintus relics. Then when he considered, then he saw, oh, Dona Brahmana hide the Buddha's relics on his head. Then whether he can take care of the Buddha's relics properly or not. No, he has no ability to take care of the Buddha's relics. The Buddha relic is very valuable. Then, Okay, then Sega also took the Buddha's relics from the uh, Dona Brahmana's head. Then he brought the Buddha's, you know, the iron tooth relics to the fun relics to the towering the Devara. Then the, the king of the Deva, Sega also made the stupa Chula Mani Chitya. Then he also put the Buddha relics on in the Sula Chulamani Chitya and towering the country. Okay. Uh, if you wish to pay homage to the Buddha's two relics, uh, you know, 
above uh, right side, uh, above right side that uh, found right less of the powder. Then you can go and pay homage to uh, that Chulamani Chetia and Taurindas, Rams. That's it there. That's it. Then, okay, then what will happen? After sharing, after sharing all the Buddha's relics to the eight countries, then they also obtain the Buddha's relics for uh, each country obtain the two containers of the Buddha's relics. Then no, no the Buddha's relics remains there. At that time, you know, what? Well, Moria came from people who near country. They also came there. Uh, 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 at that time, what will happen? Then no Buddha's relics remain. Then Dona Pemana also uh, inquired his, uh, the Buddha's two relics on his head. At that time, no Buddha's relics there. Already disappeared. Then actually, he hid the Buddha's relics without others' knowledge. That is why he dared not to see anybody. Why? His uh, thief walk will appear if he says something. <laughs> uh, actually, he only just want to take care of the Buddha's two relics. That is why he hides. Actually, this is not considered as a stealing, is it? I think not, Dana. <laughs> then, the, you know, the Sekha also just took the Buddha's two relics uh, to, to put the Buddha's relics in proper place only, without knowledge of the Dona Brahmana. This is also not considered as a stealing, is it? Then what will happen? Then he dare not to say he also wished to make the stupas with the Buddha's relics. Then he already he has already shared all the Buddha's two relics to a country. Then no Buddha's two relics remain. Then what will happen? Then he asked the container. Uh, he asked the container uh, with the measures of the Buddha's relics. Then he asked, please give me this container. Uh, I will also make the uh, chitiyas with this container, relish. Or uh, this container also like uh, we we share the borders to relish to eight countries with by measuring with the container. That is when this container is also considered as borders relish. Oh, then he also request to give this containers to him. Then all can all country also agree. Then he took. This container and he also made the Buddha's stupa or chitiyas with the container. There will be container chitiya. Is it? Then after sharing, Moria came from people when the country also came to this place with the their army. Please share the Buddha's relics to us. Then at that time, no Buddha's relics remain. Then at that time, what will happen? Then if you want, you can take the Chako, uh, bind, bind the Buddha's body with the sandal wood, sandal wood. Oh, then they don't complain. Okay, they also took the uh, chako, chako. Okay, the ambas, uh, sandal wood ambas, San, sandal wood amber, uh, chako from the Buddha's burning place, Buddha's body's burning place. Then they also make the jitia in their country. The other, you know, eight country also, they also make the Buddha's uh, relics jitia in their own country by putting the Buddha's relics there. Uh, by paying homage to the Buddha's relics jitia, then they will obtain a lot of benefits. Uh, even when they pass away, they can be reborn in good destination in this way. Then regarding this one, you know the uh, this is the brief uh, brief explanation, okay? Then brief explanation. Then what will happen? Eh? Uh, that's a tattoo by Janiya Kata. And Mahas Prinipana Soda also mentioned some, some places. But in that's a um, tattoo by Janiya Kata. The sharings or the Buddha's relics, a chapter in Buddha Wansa Pali. In this Pali, you know, there is mention 
Okay, they build the Bodas real estate here in their country. So altogether, uh, eight, eight real estate here in eight different countries. But the Donna Brahmana also build one GTS with the container which measure the Buddha's relics. Then there will be container relics GTS, Kongba GTS. Then another one is, uh, you know, Molia came from people in your country. They also build the GTS with the Sandawus charcoal. Then there will be charcoal GTS. Realist GTA altogether 10 GTA in the world with the voters released during this time. The one thing, you know, the voters released when they burn the voters body with the fire at the time, it was be uh, burned by the fire and began into many uh, small pieces. Began the relics, the relics are. Uh, they are called Sambayna relics. Sambayna me broken relics. Then another, you know, the uh, relics here, the Buddha's forehead or the Buddha, the forehead or the Buddha here. This one we call a Myanmar. Then just Onisa, Onisa Tatu, Onisa Tatu is here. Relics or the, the foreheads or the Buddha. They didn't break into small pieces. Is it? Uh, it also remain as the like the Buddha's relics, as uh, big relics. Then also two shoulders or the Buddha's, two shoulder bone or the Buddha also didn't break into the small pieces. It also remain as a shoulder, uh, as, as as the uh, you know the bone relics. Also. This one, fan or the Buddha, you know, two fan above and the upper two fans, uh, lower lower parts or the uh, two fans. So all together, four fans, fans or the Buddha. This one is called I, the Aintus of the Buddha, the Aintus of the Buddha. Four Aintus of the Buddha also did them break into these small pieces. So uh, they all together sevens. These sevens are called asam peina tatu unbroken relics of the Buddha. Where are they? Here. Yeah. You know, there are three sides of the Buddha's relics. The biggest size of the Buddha's relics are similar to the green beans. Oh, green green beans. Mape, pe now see Okay, the the seeds or the peas. The seeds or the peas. The seed or the peas. The middle relics of the Buddha are broken rice, like the size of broken rice. The rice, then broken rice, half of the rice. Then what were the smallest, small the 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 smallest relics of the Buddha are the size of the mustard seeds or sesame seeds, white sesame seed. You know the uh, uh, mustard seed, mustard seed. So all together, three sides of the Buddha: biggest one, middle one, and smallest one. Uh, 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 green, uh, the seeds of the bees and also the broken rice, broken rice size, and also uh, the size of the master seeds all together, three sides of the Buddha. This one from the other part of the body. They are called Sambayna relics, Sambayna statue. Then what is uh, the color of? The color of the Buddha's relics. You know, the biggest relics are similar to the golden colors. Gold color. The middle relics are similar to pearl. 
you know, white color, pure. They are kinds of jewel. The smallest borders to redness are similar to jasmine flower. Uh, the flower bud, flower bud. You know, flower, flower bud, like the small jasmine flower bud, or similar to this one. Then you can see the size of the border, three sizes, three size of the borders relics, eh? three colors of the borders relics. So the you know there are five containers of the biggest borders relics. There are also five containers of the middle relics of the border. Then there are also, you know, six containers of the Buddha's smallest relics. Okay, all together, uh, 16 containers of the Buddha's relics. Then where are they now? You know, the, the Buddha's, uh, fo the forehead of the Buddha's relics exist in Sri Lanka country now, Sihala country. Then, yeah, this country, the shoulder relays from uh, right, uh, right, left side, exist in Brahma Rams. Then the other shoulder bone relays of the Buddha exist in Sihala country. Maybe they put in uh, Tuba Rama. Jitiya, uh, some, some relics in Mahajitiya, there. Yeah. Then another one, right uh, about, about right, you know, the I'm tooth or the Buddha relics. Then me find all the Buddha relics here. Then where? Then Saka brought, Saka took this relics, put in the Chulamani Jitiya, eh? Towering the runs now. The same way, here, the iron tooth relics of the Buddha from right side, uh, lower parts. Then where is this one? This one and dragon run. Dragon run, dragon also took and make the GTRs and uh, they also put the relics there. Then, here, this relic from left side, above left side, the left side, then the iron tooth of the Buddha's or fans of the Buddha's relics exist in Gandhara country. Uh, Gandhara country, Gandhara country, uh, I think this is now, uh, you know, the China, China. City uh, Kalingara, this one in Beijing now, you know, uh, they, this Buddha's two relics in Beijing, China, uh, this two relics. Then the Buddha's two relics here, left side, and uh, the iron tooth of the Buddha's relics exist in Kalinga country. Kalinga country is me now the two, uh, you know, the relics of the Buddha in Sri Lanka country. Oh, all together, four fans of the Buddha's relics. Oh, four, the iron tooth of the Buddha's relics. Then they exist in those country or those runs. Okay, the other remaining two relics also uh, break into the small pieces, then many Deva and Brahmas brought those two, re two relics to many different runs, even in different universes, different Chakawala. Okay, uh, this is uh, regarding the relics. Then, according to the commentaries explanations, what will happen, what will happen me, then those relics will have dangers from number dust in the future. Then they will destroy the Buddha's relics GTR. Then nobody can respect the Buddha's relics GTR. Because of this danger, Venerable Kaspar saw this danger in the future. 
what, uh, what will happen in the future. Then, Venerable Magasapa encouraged Ajatasa to gain, Ajatasa to gain, to collect or to realize and put in the one uh, ground uh, jetia, ground house, like uh, make the uh, kinds of uh, store with the iron. Put the all jet, all two Buddhas relics there, all Buddhas relics there, to keep for a long time. Then they also, the Ajatasa too can also uh, go to the other country to take the Buddhas relics, is it? But only just a small amount of relics remain in their, their jitiya. Then all the remaining relics took, and uh, according to Venerable Kasapa's instruction, then Venerable Kasapa's instruction, then he also built the uh, relics store in, under the crown. Then make the iron house, iron the store, iron jetia under the crown. Then the, the Saka also has to make the pot, uh, cut of those store, etc. Then a few hundred years later, you know, Asoka can appear. This can where uh, contribute. This can where contribute. Uh, he will found out. He will find out the Buddha's two relics from the underground. With his power, then taking the Buddha's two relics, then he will share the Buddha's two relics to the whole Jabutipa. Then you know, a few hundred later, or the Buddha's. They can find a Prinibana, Asoka can, Pia, Pia Tasi can, Asoka can appear. Then during this time, they also found the Buddha's relics. Where are they? He had already built the eight, uh, shut down later, eight, 84,000 pagodas and 84,000 monasteries in Jabutipa country with his power. Then they also want to. Uh, offer the Buddha's relics to this Jitiya. That time they found with the existence of many Arahanda. Then luckily that time there, there were also there there was also one old Beku, Arahanda Beku, already 120, 100, uh, maybe 20 years, etc. Then uh, from this uh, from this Seattle, then he had my, when I was seven years old, my teachers, you know, 120 old years Seattle, uh, asked me to bring the flowers to Buja to one Chitya under the, in the forest, under the bushes. Then when they are searching for the Buddha's relics, they don't know how to find, but finally this Seattle says to the king, then the king must be this Buddha's relics. Then this, the, the Seattle shows the Asoka gains to find the Buddha's relic. Finally, they found out the Buddha's relic store under the crown. Then taking the Buddha's relic, then he also offered the Buddha's relic to the 80,000, uh, 84,000 pagoda and monastery in the Chabutipa country. Uh, he also offer a lot of things to the Buddha Sasana. He also do, he also the donor of the Tath Sangha's Kosa. Then after doing many uh, offerings to the Buddha Sasana, he says to many Arhanda, uh, I am the, I am uh, the, I am uh, now, I have become the one who have inherited the, or the Buddha or Sasana. Sasana Tayada, you know? Buddha, uh, Sasana Tayada in the Buddha's dispensation. Then they says, they says, no, you are only, although you offer us many, many, uh, many pagoda, many monasteries to the Buddha's uh, Sasana, but you are not the ones who are, uh, who is the inheritance of the Buddha. Dispensation. Dhamma Dayada, uh, Dayada, okay? Sasana Dayada. Only you are Pichaya Dayaka. You are the donor or requisites for the Buddha Sasana only, not Dhamma Dayada. Then how should I do to be uh, Dayada or the Buddha Dispensation? Inheritance or inheritance or the Buddha's Dispensation? Then the Arhanda suggests you should 
Uh, if your son and daughter ordain as beku or beku ni in the Buddha's dispensation, then you will be the one who is inheritance of the Buddha's dispensation. Then he wants to be the inheritance of the Buddha's dispensation. That is why he also encouraged his son Mahendas to ordain as beku Sangha Meta, daughter, his daughter Sangha Meta to ordain as beku ni. Then according to uh, his encouragement, they also ordain as Beku and Bekuni and the Buddha's dispensation. Finally, they also practice meditation and became Arahanda. Then, you know, uh, Venerable Mainda also propagate the Buddha's dispensation in Sri Lanka and other countries, etc. Then, the Asoka can also became the inheritance of the Buddha's dispensation. Okay, uh, this is a uh, what uh, the commentary said, this is what we had from the uh, Eda generation, etc. Okay. Then this is uh, uh, the last, the conclusions of the Buddha's, the Buddha's last day. You, you also understand uh, during the Buddha's last day, you know, 10, 10 months of the Buddha's last day. This is uh, this final, the Buddha's last day. So conclusion of the Buddha's last day. And the Dhamma talk also, or uh, also already, uh, we 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 have already finished the Buddha's last day. Then you know, uh, during the Buddha's last day, how the Buddha propagate the Buddha's disposition and how he experienced uh, during the his last day, etc. Then you also know many things from the Buddha's last days. By knowing this, especially, then, then you should follow the Buddha's instructions, like uh, Aprihaniya Dhamma, etc. Then you should also follow the Buddha's instructions to practice the three trainings until you realize Nibbana. Although you cannot realize Nibbana, if you pay homage to the Buddha's realize Jitya, etc., is it? Then even you can be reborn and go destination. Then maybe able to practice until you attain nirvana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you, Sayado, for your very much for your teaching today. Uh, la last time, okay. La last time, uh, maybe last time, Matwati also asked the questions. The Buddha took his but uh, the last person as bodhisattva. Then he took his priest and the, uh, you know, the excess concentration, like the Ubajara Samadhi, based on metta meditations. Metta, no? Somana Sasagata, Nyana Sambyuta, Asankarika Chita, with the Somana Sasagata, Nyana Sambyuta, Asankarika Chita. Then he took his priest and this. Last time I says with, uh, uh, you know, the Karuna, actually metta. It says metta. Thank you. And first, we have a few questions from last teaching. Okay, uh, so the question one is, uh, there's a one, um, one also say that the tea is belong to the food. After, uh, after the lunch, um, we cannot drink the tea, uh, especially the tea water. Is that true? <laughs> tea, tea, tea water. Yeah, yeah, like it, the, the water after washing the tea. This kind of water we can drink or not? After lunch, after noon, after noon time. Yeah, after noon time. Uh, this one, the teeth, la fat, no, la fat, teeth leaf are considered as the curry dishes in our Myanmar countries. That is why we also eat as the curry in our country. Then this cannot be cooked, cannot be cooked in, in the afternoon and cannot drink. Such can so teeth, teeth and nyama. But one thing, if they wish to make as a juice, uh, find fit, uh, fit darins, without any uh, any leaf remain, etc. Only just water with the uh, you know the uh, with the uh, cold water, it will be okay. With the hot water, cannot boil, etc. In other, but in other country, maybe they say the tea leaf are not considered as curry. They just make as a medicine only. If they don't really eat the tea leaf as curry, 
like dishes, etc. Okay, uh, it is uh, correct in their country. But in our country, we eat the tea leaf as a uh, correct. That is why it is not allowable in the afternoon for pickles and salad. Okay, so the second question is, um, for some lay, lay people, if they want to accumu accumulate the gusala by doing some service towards the monastery, is it suitable for them to go to the Mahayana temple to do the service? If they go there, how to do the service in the Mahayana temple? <laughs> it's okay. Depends on what they need and what, uh, what you want to do. Uh, doing service for the Buddhist temple, uh, Buddha's Beku is a threat. This is quite okay, no problem. According to their fix, their ability, hmm. no problem. Okay, the question three is um, some, uh, some also they, uh, they are asking, they find some Beku's Sila is not so pure. For example, some Beku's they will wear the layperson clothes, for example, the upper clothes inside the robes. And they explain in this way, do this is uh, just for the convenience to get the support from the layperson. Uh, also, they are very picky in getting the food. Even sometimes they very chatty with the laypersons. Because of the above reasons, the, um, the absolutes they are discussing uh, privately, uh, discuss about some, uh, some, something towards this uh, Bhikkhu because his Sela is not so pure. And then some Pandis explained because the Bhikkhus follow uh, two, 227 uh, Vinaya principles. Uh, because of the, uh, because of these uh, principles, the person cannot uh, criticize the Bhikkhu uh, because by creating, criticizing the Bhikkhu, it will uh, cause some bad karma. So they want to know, is it true? Can they criticize or cannot? If they are the breaking the winner rule, they also really know, okay? Uh, uh, they are breaking the winner rule seriously. It, uh, they don't care. Then no problem, I can point out they are mystic or something like this. If it is, if you, if you think it is not suitable to directly point, point out their mistakes to those persons, maybe you may inform the responsible persons like their teacher or the upper, the shadows of the monastery, etc. In this way, it's better, uh, if you see. Uh, sometimes, okay, although they are breaking very serious winner rules, they also really know, but they keep quiet because uh, they are afraid of the uh, making some mistake or something like this. Then, because of this, then they were, such kinds of bad people were growing, uh, were grow more and more then it is also not suitable for Buddha Sasana. If they know uh, exactly, then trying to inquire, trying to find out whether they are uh, breaking very serious Winyaru or not, etc. Then no problem, can remind them. If possible, try, uh, if, uh, if it is suitable to remind, try at least to them, it is also okay. If not, maybe like with their responsible persons. In this way, it's better. But if they are very small, then nothing to describe, only because of some reason, also sometimes need to ignore, need, need to ignore. Then uh, if they can correct themselves, it will be better. Then all Beku 227 rule, all Beku will keep without breaking all the time. It is not, it is also impossible. You know, we need a rule as a for Beku. If, if it is small, then some may break. But sometimes they okay, they will be careful not to break in the future in this way. Uh, but especially, you know, uh, four parajika are unbreakable. Nobody uh, can break them. If someone break one of these four, then no more beku. Yes, uh, he is no longer beku. But even sangha this is aru, thirteen sangha this is aru. This is the skin heavy apathy. Then the Buddha lay down. This is uh, if they break one of these rules, there will be some this is a heavy ability. But there is also the ways for the treatment. Then they can recover from those apathy by following, for example, taking Briwaza, Manata, etc. 
Then she was sometimes because of defilement or because of ignorance, etc. They may also break from time to time. But after breaking, uh, try not to break in the future and do their proper treatment to recover from this apathy, etc. Uh, so, so, for example, lepers and break one of these apathy rules, Sangatis is apathy rule. They have no apathy. This is only just for Beku. Uh, they also still have defilement. They may break some of these. Or some of this, is it? Uh, then C condition, they are purposely breaking or not. Uh, there will be allergy or shameless beku. Shameless, if they break the winner purposely, there will be shameless beku. But uh, after breaking, because of their defilement, they also confess their apathies to the other beku fellow, uh, by saying, by telling something like that. Then they are okay. Apathy, uh, apathy. Apate, apachati, okay, they have, uh, they break a uh, winyaru, then they have apati. Then they also don't confess their apati, then they will be also shameless beku. Agati geminensa kesati, they also follow, which is not suitable to follow, uh, because of fear or because of love, etc. Then they will be also uh, shameless beku. But when they confess their apati, when they trying to recover from their apathy according to uh, the treatment, uh, according to the uh, making the recover, etc. Then, then they are also good back again, no problem. In this way, okay? C conditions. Especially they are making very serious apathy. Uh, then it should remind them. Pantame Sayato. Sayoto explained the Buddha's relics were divided into 16 parts. Could Sayoto share with us where are all the Buddha's relics now? Satu, Satu, Satu. Uh, 60 container. Say, say, in English, how do you call? Say, chow, say. Say, lay, say, day, how do you call? Say, day, how there is when 60 containers remain, the Buddha, or the Buddha's relics from the Buddha's body. Then, then they share, uh, okay, they share the Buddha's uh, relics to each country, uh, two containers to each country, all together, eight countries. So, uh, 16 containers reach the Buddha's relics in there, uh, each country. But according to commentary's explanation, later uh, they will have dangers from a number of deaths. They were destroying the Buddha's stupa, relic stupa. That is why then Venerable Makasapa prepares. Venerable Makasapa uh, asked the Ajatas that you can to collect the Buddha's relics, then keep in the Buddha's relics, uh, relics store, uh, iron store under the ground. Then later, during Asoka time, then he found out the Buddha's relics and he shares to uh, 84,000 Bagoda and the Jabutipa Islands, including, you know, Myanmar, possible, also in the uh, Sri Lanka, etc. Then just now I already explained, then the Buddha's relics uh, separate this in many pagoda, many uh, many pagoda, and also many uh, jitia, something like this. But since since there's a Buddha's relics in our jitia, something like this, some maybe only uh, fake relics, artificial relics possible. Some real relics. Uh, now some can 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 show can see uh, there's a real Buddha's relics in this stupa, etc. For example, in the uh, Tupara Mahajitya in Sri Lanka country, Mahajitya in, uh, uh, Mahajitya in Sri Lanka country, and also like uh, Shwetagong Bogoda, etc. Is it? In San, San Jitya. Uh, then Chulamani Jitya in the Tawarinda Ran, Tragon Ran, etc. There are also Buddha's kind of relics here. They, they, uh, in this way. But, some, we, we cannot say exactly, some the body relics, small relics. But later, when after 5,000 years of the Buddha's dispensation, the Buddha dispensation were disappeared from the world. 
at that time, all Buddha relics from different places were combined together and became like a Buddha's appearance. Then the Buddha uh, appearance was show many uh, miracles in the world and preached the Dharma. Then at that time, also many were become uh, uh, were realized Nibbana, etc. According to the commentary's explanation, after that, they were gathered, all relics were gathered in Mahajitya and Sri Lanka country. Then later, we moved to the Buddha Gaya, under the near the body tree. Then the Buddha's, uh, uh, you know, the relics body will be burned by the uh, fire. Then the Buddha's dispensation will completely disappear from the world. Madame Sayado, Sayado explained that one disciple took Buddha's relic without permission. To be able to keep Buddha's relics, does one need to possess some qualities? For example, does one need to keep, uh, hold the precepts, etc.? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Like, Donna, Donna, Pramana, Saka, is it? Actually, uh, this one, this one is uh, the intention. Uh, the, <laughs> Uh, Donna, Donna Pramana, okay, want to pay homage to the Buddha's relics. Uh, he maybe he consider he is also one one of the person who who is worthy to resist the Buddha's relics. That is why maybe he took the Buddha's the front relics uh, on his head. Then Sega also consider he can, he is he cannot take care of the Buddha's relics properly. Then it will not be beneficial for beings. Then he took the Buddha's relics from his head and put in the jitiya. So many Dewa pay homage to the Buddha's relics there and they obtain a lot of benefits in this way. It will be beneficial for many Dewa, etc. Uh, that is when they took with the intention. What the intention is okay, uh, you know, prapragita senita, one fetas and adinadana. If they think this is belong to other, then they also know, they also take others belonging purposely, what is not given. Then it will be adinadana. But what they think is that this is belongs to me, not belong to this person, something like this. Okay, I am also what the duracy, the world does relates. But because of this intention only, they talk with the good intention only. For example, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, there, this is enough like that. Uh, uh, consider with the uh, fetas or adinadana. Vendami Sayato, there are many relics we can find nowadays. How do we know if they are true Bud Buddha's relics or certain venerable's relics? If we have these relics at home or at our shrine room, how should we arrange the relics? And do we need to pay respect to the relics, etc.? How should we pay attention to it towards the relics in our mind? Thank you, Sayato. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. The, the, uh, the most of them are maybe the artificial relics of the Buddha, uh, not, not real relics. For example, the Myanmar, uh, Myanmar government invited the Buddha to relics from the China. Then they also uh, pay respect to the Buddha's relics here yes, for about uh, two, one, two weeks or one month, etc. Then during this time, they also make the sign artificial or fake relics, put together with the Buddha's real relics. Then when the Buddha's real relics return to their respective place, then uh, they also say this is the Buddha's relics. Actually, they also already announced this is a Buddha's uh, you know, copy realist, <laughs> copy realist. Then, if the Buddhist refers to the Buddha, they pay respect to the artificial or fake realist by reference to the real Buddha. Then they will also have uh, some the benefits, no benefits. Uh, it is okay, like the stupa. All stu stupa, they also make the the uh, chitya pagoda. By reference to the Buddha, like the Buddha statue made of the marble, etc., referring to the Buddha, they also pay homage to those statues by referring to the Buddha, real Buddha only, not only stone. If they are mine, 
have the you know the uh, uh, build devotion as minds toward the Buddha, devoted mind towards the Buddha, uh, respected mind towards the Buddha. It is okay. They only just pay homage to the statue without referring to real Buddha. They only just talk something like this. Okay. Uh, in the same way, Chitya also the same, the other relics also the same. Then you offer the flowers to the Buddha statue, then by referring to real Buddha, not only the uh, statue only, or in this we need to do. So, Taitan de Nebu de Chapi, Same Chate, Saman Palan, Chito Bani de He to He, Sada Do, Sada Ketchan de Sukatain, when they pay homage to the statue of Bagoda or Relis, by referring to the real Buddha, your mind, okay, pay attention to the real Buddha. Uh, that is why then it can produce good results, even maybe similar results, etc. Is it? By being homage to the uh, such kinds of uh, statue, then what will happen when they pass away? Even they can be reborn and good run, etc. Okay. Uh, this is what the Buddha says in the uh, past. But then, for example, they met the real Buddha, but they, they have no belief in the Buddha, even they get angry with the Buddha. Then what will happen? <laughs> when they get angry with the Buddha, they will show their disrespect toward the Buddha, even Buddha statue, etc. By making this, then it will produce bad results to be reborn in lower realms, etc. Uh, rare, rare, rare uh, then more probably most of the relics nowadays will be the artificial or fake relics. Madam Isoyado, we heard about a disciple who has a lot of relics growing in her house. She offered a Buddha statue with growing relics to Pao Sayado in the monastery. How do we understand about these relics? Is it true that they will multiply a lot if we do chanting every day? Could Sayado enlighten us? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. That's why maybe a cancel of America with the, the uh, disciples' power, this person, the, maybe uh, this lady's power. <laughs> uh, I also visited this, the ladies from the Ho Chi Minh cities from Vienna. Uh, she also have a lot of Buddha statues in her house. Then she, she also have the uh, very uh, very Buddhist, many Buddha statues with the relics and Buddha's body, etc. She also show many miracles in her house. Even the relics automatically appear. This one is uh, maybe her, because of her karma and power also possible. Um, may not be real relics, but also maybe with the real relics, the copy with the other artificial relics in this way also possible. One thing, one thing is that she may have some help from others, like ancient being, uh, like Dewa or something, because of her karma in this way possible. But whether it grow from their body, uh, we also saw the uh, many Buddhist statues with the relics and body, but it does not, I don't know if it grow in our face, in front of our face or not, we don't see such kinds of things. They, I, I don't know, they, this is a real or it, they make with something or maybe unseen, like they were unseen beings have her or not, something only. So there are also many miracles, is it? Like, like magic powers and then many. But anyway, then they are, they respect the Buddha statue and they are separating the Buddha's dispensation, something like this. If they have good mind without lying, then it will be beneficial. If they are lying, then according to their karma. According to Abhidhamma Sati, always and only occurs with Susala Sita. Focus concentration can occur with Akusala Sita. What characteristics or qualities differentiates between Sati and the focus and concentration? Actually, uh, focus, uh, sati is a mindfulness, is it? Uh, whenever they have kusala mind, then the satis, satis and the concentration samadhis were associated with the kusala mind. 
Okay? Then because of city, for example, you are holding one thing. Uh, uh, you are holding uh, the objects. Uh, then me, city is mindful or city is holding the objects. Like similar to the city. Holding something is similar to city. Is it? Then focus or concentrate on the objects with the thing, with the, with the uh, one, one character. This is a samadhi concentration. Then penetrate on the objects. Penetrate on the objects is called penya in this way. They are working together, actually. Samasati, samasamadhi, etc. Is it? Sama, uh, samasati, samadhi, samasangapa. Samawayama, samasati, samasamadhi. They are working meganga. Five megangas are working together on the co object. But some uh, sati is very important. Without holding the objects, then the other concentration also cannot concentrate on the objects. Also cannot waste time, also cannot penetrate on the objects, etc. So sati is uh, the most important one, this one. If there's a sati, the other two will automatically can. If there's a no sati, even they cannot hold the objects with their mind. Their mind will go here and there. That is why city is uh, the uh, important one with this one. That is why they also say the deep pattern. Parmasyaruji. So now in Myanmar, there's uh, one video introduced. There, there is one kind of Buddha's sheer relics. After absorbing some water, this uh, sheer relics will jump automatically. But the other band they explain this is one one kind of special Myanmar grass. So according to this, who does put already Balinibana? So this kind of sheer relics after absorb, absorbing the water can move in is true or not. Mm, this one is uh, like the just now I already explained. Probably will be the uh, artificial or copy relics, something like this only. But some miracles depends on uh, what or they are true or not, they are lying or not. Consider some may be truth with some powers, like the have or ancient beings or dewa etc. Is it? Uh, dewa etc. But this is a kind of like magical power. If they are not lying, it is good. If they are lying, no, so go. Thank you very much, Sayado, for your teachings. May Sayado mm. lead us in making aspiration and sharing merits, please. Mm -hmm. eh, repeat after me to share your merits to all beings. Idame Bonya Asawa Kaya Wahan Hotu. Idame Bonya Asawa Hotu. Idame Bonya. Idame Bonya. Iba Nasa Iba Nasa Pacheo Hodu Pacheo Hodu Mama Ponya Bagam Mama Ponya Bagam Papa Sadana Papa Sadanam Pajemi Pajemi Esabe Esabe Esaman Esaman Ponya Bagam Ponya Bagam Babandu Sabandu Sadu 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 